Hi. In this video, I will cover the tools and the development board that will be used in ECEN 2350 Digital Logic. Uh, the board is a DE10 Lite from TerraASIC, and I will show you the subset of features that we will use uh, in the class. I'll also walk through how to download and install the tools uh, from Intel, which is called Quartus, and then we'll I'll walk through the tool and write a simple Verilog program that demonstrates how to get inputs uh, from external pins, uh, run a very simple set of logic functions, and then drive some output pins um, so that we can understand how the, you know, an end-to-end -end demonstration of the board. Um, we'll actually download and test the board. Um, and then finally, I'll cover the model sim simulation tool, um, which is a separate tool, but can be used on the same Verilog program. The TerraASIC DE10 Lite board is a very inexpensive board that we will be using for this class. Um, it has a Max 10 FPGA on it, and the subset of features that we're going to be using in the class are buttons, just two buttons that you can see um, in the lower right here. There's a picture, and then there's up to 10 switches that we can use. Uh, there's a several different output pins. There's a, right above those switches are a set of 10 LEDs, and then to the left are six different eight segment LEDs that we could put numbers up, for example. Um, and that's pretty much all we need to use uh, in this class. Um, we will, there's a USB port on the left side that we will plug into the uh, PC running the Cordis tool. Um, and that lets us program the board and it also powers the board. Um, we can look at the website link that I've shown here uh, and that's how we can download user manuals for the board. You can order the board, there's an academic discount, or you can buy it from the CU bookstore. They should have them in stock. Um, I've already downloaded the, the DE10 user manual and there's a lot of good information in there. There's a tutorial um, so you can get some more information, some more detailed steps of how to set up this board. Um, but what I have shown now is a block diagram of the board. So you can see the Max 10 device. You can see at the bottom the seven segment LEDs, the 10 individual LEDs, the 10 slide switches, and the two push buttons. Um, that's mainly what we're going to use in the class. In the upper right, you'll see that there's a few clocks. Those are built into the board. I believe they're 25 megahertz. Um, later in the class, we will also use those. Um, and then through the Verilog uh, software and the Portis tool, um, I'll show you how we can uh, assign and get the pinouts uh, to properly access all of these inputs and outputs. Okay, let's walk through downloading and installing Quartus. So we're going to use Quartus Prime 18.1 Lite Edition, which is free. And the website, which I'll click through in a second, um, I'll show you that. Uh, we're going to install this on Windows 10. Uh, if you're a Mac user, I recommend you use a virtual machine of Windows 10, which you can find a free version that will last long enough to, uh, for our class. Um, there are also Linux versions, which you're welcome to try, but uh, you might run into more uh, compatibility problems. Um, so it might be a little more difficult for you to use that. Uh, so under the Intel Quartus, we're going to scroll down um, in this link and you'll see this Intel Quartus Prime Lite Edition. So we're going to choose the Lite Edition 18.1 and we want to choose both Quartus Prime and Model Sim because we're going to use both of those. Um, you, you could uncheck everything uh, of these devices except for Max 10 if you want to reduce the download size because we're only going to use the Max 10. And I'm going to download these. We have to log in. It's 
So you will have to create an account here in order to download this. And it reset this. So let's try this again. Well, that was nice. I'm going to just pick the max 10 and download. So now it's asking me where to put it. I think I'm just going to put it into downloads for now. So we'll pause and let this download and I'll come back. Okay, we finished downloading. And now here's our download folder. So we'll just run our Portislite setup. Okay, accept the agreement. Just pick the default. We have all of that. There we go. Okay, we're just about done. And it did take about 20 minutes. And it, it looks like it also installed ModelSim uh, in the same the same time so that's good okay and now we're complete and we're gonna uh, launch the driver installation that's the USB driver that we need to connect to the DE10 light board um, and then we'll we'll try to launch it and make sure it, uh, that the Portis tool actually works here's this So now we do need to look at the licensing, and we should have already um, we should already have this license working since this is a free edition. So let's see. So that didn't work exactly the way we had hoped. Uh, it tried to launch Portis, and it seemed to hang. So I killed it with the task manager, but then I ran it from the desktop a second time, and it did launch properly. So Cordis is installed correctly. Let's try running model sim. And I'm just running it from the Windows search bar. And this looks like it's launching. And there we go. So both model sim and Cordis work properly.